but I'm reasonably sure that the college had already been put in before these people were there. Uh, this is the thing, you know, <coughs> the poor tiger is killed, he'll eat something else, he'll kill again, it's killed, so let me eat it. That feeling of mine would be the same. Please let me come in. Uh, so four tigers killed on one, one poison base. Uh, three weeks earlier, two tigers had been killed, perhaps on a container of poison bait, but the bait was not found. In case of uh, Corbett, uh, Dudua, they had the choice of full adorn, and they willfully selected, obviously. The, the, and this is outside the park, and therefore, why one would do whatever can, can to supplement the resources of the park, what is outside, uh, we felt that we should go in with a, a, with a scheme, a mechanism, whereby the compensation could be availed of and, unfortunately, in many respects. Uh, but even if it does arrive in time, there is sometimes a delay because of picking the compensation immediately. That somebody, perhaps in the owner, perhaps somebody else, goes and self poison. So, what we thought of was the actual value is more. But as I said, even if you give full value, as a matter of fact, he would be himself going to uh, pay if he would, uh, with his own or he send it back. He will keep certain cash. And uh, this would also be applicable in the case of uh, Corbett with uh, the other non-governmental organization, which is the Corbett. He paid the first informer uh, on the basis of the quickness in which the report is received. If it's been received within, three, uh, within 24 hours or 300 rupees, if it's more than 24 hours, 200 rupees. This has not been done before. This is just to, to hasten up the process of, uh, of giving information. And 100 rupees is more than 48 hours old. Then after verifying the ownership and doing a punch number, the uh, quantum of the money that has been given, the uh, the rebel, uh, what I do, uh, high uh, And they will get followed, or they'll uh, get, and the, uh, the animal will come back. We have even said this point was rather interestingly raised that there may be a hesitation in burning a cow because of the religious sentiment. We have said therefore that in that case we pay for it. You drag the animal out. Do cannot take possession of the thing and dispose it all. The idea is that nobody should be given a chance to follow them. Now if you fodder, and I've gone to the extent of saying that if you are then the system fails. Then there is an individual fault or there is some kind. But I hope, and Billy Adam Singh is already acting on it in day and day, and I hope this kind of squeamishness is not there, and I hope this thing is okay. It will mean maybe a few more. And uh, the, the um, amount which will come in will go in into the KP of, uh, of the NGO which is handling our funds. Any interest which will be approved. The number gain is not confined only to MLAs and MPs. It's also, unfortunately, a good part. So it tends to go to the level of that. And during my tenure of the last two plus four, so that you know nobody asked you why your tenure, the number of tigers have gone down. But it doesn't happen. And therefore, um, a lot of it comes from, well, okay, this kind of feeling that numbers should not be seen. But also, this business of you know, a system refined, therefore, with a, a system of enumeration which is most acceptable, perhaps the most practical. And um, uh, there would be, therefore, a a refinement to that and a uniform. And we are in the process of trying to come out with a manual which is pertaining to that. And that has been written out by Dr. L.A. Singh, you might have heard about him, uh, on the border situated protected areas on the one hand and the enforcement of CITES and uh, uh, <coughs> trade regulations on the other. Uh, and therefore, it, it's their job too to, to, to get their act straight. I got to the extent to say that if you can't contribute for anything, keep your dollar, but get those 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 streets clean from the. Uh, I think I've gone on too long, and if there are any questions, we have to answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Figures have still not been declared by the director of the project. But the director, Project Tiger, has gone on record to admit that the number is now around 3,000 times. But this is not official figures, it's not the office. 
it was it came out in it, this is not the official figure it's not declared so far but this was a statement he made which came out in the press course. so what was the number of hundred years uh, since the beginning of the century uh, the late uh, revered uh, Dr. Salim Ali gave a figure of 45 power in the beginning of the century. And uh, for want of anything, and I asked Dr. Salim Ali myself as to how he came in. He said this was his guess as well. Uh, he had no concrete evidence, and nobody has that concrete evidence. I'm not that uh, starry eyed or that uh, uh, naive. That with the inputs that we are giving, you can immediately sort of uh, think that the tiger poaching or the killing will stop. As I said, we can minimize it, we can protectively reduce it. Um, and we can't be evidence. We can do what we can, but the government itself is doing its own job. The, the pressure is mounting, and therefore, all around, I think we would have a, a traffic would probably have it. About the number, you are talking about the number of. Uh, Animal carcasses and tiger bones found, or the number of actual no, I mean, poison, uh, sorry, killings and things like that. The killing could be of three kinds, bro. No? Uh, one that we generally come to know of poaching when we kind of put customs people around the border, when they, in 1993 there were 3,700 odd tigers. Yeah. Say in 1990 it's gone down to 3,000. Some have died naturally, some have died through poison, through attribution. What, what percentage would have been killed with a purpose, you know, for the illegal trade? That would not be common. You see, as I said, it's very difficult to make out what the... First question is about this uh, compensation scheme. Tell us something about it. Well, this is a scheme to supplement a compensation scheme which is already there by Project Tiger, by the government of India, which uh, we have felt may not be as effective as it should be. So this is an attempt by WWF India to strengthen that program. Uh, by ensuring that there is involvement by an NGO, a committed, dedicated NGO, to be able to effectively, quickly, expeditiously pay this compensation. That, that, that in a sense, is the compensation scheme. But we really hope that the government systems come back to full efficiency, because WWF cannot be subsidizing uh, for compensation for all time to come. We can do it for a limited period and hopefully strengthen the existing systems for compensation of the government of India. One more question is about the tiger bone trade. You said that it's coming down. Could you say something? Could you tell us something about that? Well, as you know, it's the demand for tiger bone which is driving uh, the poaching incidents uh, within the country. We believe that due to the tremendous international pressure on the countries which uh, are responsible for the demand for tiger bone, particularly the East Asian countries, China, uh, Taiwan. Uh, Singapore, countries of the Southeast Asia and so on, because of the tremendous international pressure that has been brought and the improved enforcement in these countries, the demand for tiger bone is going down. And now there are all, there's also uh, projections of alternatives to tiger bone. So we believe this demand will go down. Hopefully the, the lowering of the demand will have an effect on the poaching, because if there, is no, if there isn't a market, then there will not be poaching. But we're just hoping that the information that the demand is going down reaches our poacher, uh, so that uh, you know the, the normal tendency is when there's incomplete information, uh, the, the production keeps going without realizing that the market may have crashed. So we're, we're hoping that this is a favorable trend, and this will be a positive factor in saving the tiger. Thank you very much, Mr. Matthew. Uh, my first question is about the census figures. Uh, it seems to be that the tiger count has come down by about 750 numbers. Uh, 1993, so the, there was seven, 3750. Now it seems to be uh, around 3000. That's the general uh, opinion. I'm not sure uh, about uh, the exact figure or even the roundabout because uh, uh, the enumeration of 93 was seven. Now, the, these are, um, you know, the numbers or the figures have been bandied about. But um, I would wait till the government comes out and gives a, a categorical thing as to what the last census revealed. Um, whether to say there are 3,000 or uh, 2,500 or 3,500, I think is just a, a sort of conjectures and guesses. I would not like to, I would like to, I would like, like, won't like to uh, name a particular figure at the present moment. Okay. But uh, is there any consensus regarding the reduction in the numbers? 
you see uh, the numbers of the tiger uh, over they have counted every four years four years so uh, from 1972 onwards they went up from less than 2000 to 4000 now again there could be controversy about the exact figure but the numbers did go up uh, then in 93 it showed a decline for the first time the government uh, did come out and say no they are not more than 4000 as it was previously but it's 3750 now uh, I presume that uh, the number would be less than 3750 if it had not decreased perhaps the government would have come out and, and said so that no they are not 3750 now they are something more it hasn't despite the fact that the numbers came in last year and there are conjectures but I would like to uh, say as to how many are there at the present moment because uh, I don't have official figures and I haven't on my own did, uh, how should I call it exit poll <laughs> last questions is this uh, reduction uh, only due to poaching or any other reasons also could be a number of reasons uh, poaching or killing of tigers poaching is of many kinds one is by a gun or could be by poisoning that's also a poaching of a, of a, of a kind it is also a fact that in some cases there is not space enough for the tiger to grow anymore because the surplus tigers get uh, into conflict within the species also there are some cases where the, the habitat is so poor outside that the tigers prefer to take the chances within the protected areas and run the gauntlet of uh, being killed by you know others whose territories they are now you know trespassing on that's happening too in some places and in some places of course they go out and get killed and uh, the, the human demographic pressures of livestock and human beings is also a, a, a very detrimental factor last question is about uh, your prognosis for the tiger say in the year 2010 well I feel that the tiger will still survive and in some cases it may even go up I cannot uh, probably I cannot subscribe today to the view that the total number will go up because the human population is not going to go down in that thing the cattle population is not going to decrease and unless there is a great shift in government policy I don't think uh, there will be any greater emphasis on nature conservation uh, that one can see in the foreseeable future which will sort of change the scenario as happened probably in the 70s maybe but even if it does this sheer numbers of uh, demographic pressure would sort of tend to show that the numbers may not go up but I do not believe that the tiger is going to get extinct by 19, uh, by 2010. I do not believe that the numbers are going to go so low that there is no hope for the tiger. I think it, there will be some pockets, sufficient number of left so that the species continuation would be thing. But I cannot say that it will be thriving. It will certainly be surviving. And in some cases, it may be doing reasonably well. But I would say that that will be safe. And I can't even say that it will be so safe that, you know, we didn't worry. No, it, the, the, the tiger is under threat. It is under siege in many places that we have to face that fact.